Hello, this is Jelly Bling. I have another project using the bundle, ink and tiled. And today's is mostly using the stamp set, not the punches. So this bundle includes the stamp set and two punches. And I'll use those on the next project, but this is today's project. Isn't that just a classic card? It's kind of fun to make too. So we'll be using the stamp set and these dies, I love these dies. It's wanted to stay, and they're standalone dies. They don't coordinate um, particularly with any other stamp set. And there is You're Too Kind, Celebrate, Happy Birthday, and a, I think it says Feel Better Soon or Get Well Soon. And they're wonderful dies because this one is the detail. This is happy birthday. So the detailed one is in black and the a little bit bolder is in petal pink. So we'll do that today. Okay, you ready to get started? Oh, hold on. Do you ever scooch way down on your chair to pick something up off the floor and you're hoping that the chair doesn't go scooting out behind you and leave you without the chair. Every time I lean over, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to happen. Oh, look at this. This kind of shows inside papers, outside papers. Let's just leave it like that. That's for now. Um, this is for stamping the flower on. And the flower, believe it or not, is stamped in black. But that's just so that um, we could color it in with the markers. I was getting ready for the next project. It's it's very different. It is, I think I have it almost done. I don't think that I trimmed the ribbon. I'll show you here in just a minute. But I was using this black stamp pad. Okay, and since the black is out, I'm going to stamp the words in the inside flower. Inside flower, I wonder if I could do this one. I'm wondering about doing it landscape rather than portrait. Yeah, I don't think the flower, I don't think the flower, yeah, the flower's too big. Okay, scratch that. Um, Okay, so now I know how I'm going to stamp this. Because if I was doing it landscape, I would have to turn, then the flowers really wouldn't fit on me. Scratch that. Flowers. Pretty. And the words, lots of love. I think that's all the stamping on this thing. We have to do a little bit of coloring, a little bit of cutting, but these, I want to show you what this looks like. Okay, so you see the happy birthday went together really easy. So, feel better soon. The detail went in black and the outline in petal pink. Look at that. Let's stick it together. Isn't that fun? I mean, you could just put that on, like, right on, well, let's try. It could just go on designer paper and consider it done. And maybe put a ribbon on it or a few bling on it. Ooh, got lots of glue there. And I like to do half of it get it in place, and then do the other half. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just because if I did all of this with glue on it, you know I'm gonna get all dirty. I don't like getting all dirty. And this works just fine, this method. Okay, so turn that over. It should fit right onto here. I'll do the F and the L and the bottom 
then hopefully the rest of it will just align. Okay, there's a bottom. Scooching it a little bit. Yeah, it just aligns. Isn't that cool? Oh, what if you did it with sparkly paper? Mm-hmm. Okay, dry. Okay, so now I'm thinking... And I've seen a lot of people do cards like that, where they're really simple. And I'm like, you have to fancy that thing up. But I guess you don't have to. Inside paper. Okay, paper base, fold in half. Bone folder. And let's start putting this together. So the black. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog. And my blog, my new blog, I had it redid. Well, it has the same name, but it's completely different. Jellybling.com. And you could subscribe to YouTube. Woohoo! Or my blog. Woohoo! On the blog, you go to newsletter. And it's like, do you want to receive the newsletter? But there's four people who said, yes, I want the newsletter, um, but they didn't check their spam folder. Marjo Wag, you're one of them. Mm -hmm. Pam Fern, you're one of them. And there's a few others, but because I don't know them, I can't pick on them. I could only pick on those two. Probably after like a week or so go by, if they haven't checked their spam folder, I'll um, send them a message to say, Hey, thanks for subscribing, but you have to confirm. Oh, so the designer papers are from the product suite. Look at how this matches the flower we stamped. And the colors all go together. Petal pink. It makes it easy to decide what colors to color with, to coordinate stuff with. So I'm turning it over because I like the cut off dots. This dot is perfect, but because the edges don't have that perfect border on them, I'm going to stick with the, the casual, the imperfect. You're like, why didn't you just cut a big piece? And I'll tell you. See that little gap right there? That would make the difference in getting, um, what is this, two by, because you know I'm a paper saver. Three inches by two inches. So one, two, three by two. I think I get like nine doing it this way. Otherwise I'd get probably half that. Okay, so this here needs a little bit more sticking down. I think it's time now. So this is a fun bundle. I love when things come with punches. That's great, because punches are very convenient. Um, but to tell you the truth, I wasn't too sure about what am I going to do with these punches. They're good for like putting words on. I should pull them over so you know what I'm talking about. But um, I was talking with Diane, and she's like, I don't know what you're going to do with that. I know you said you're going to do a gotta have it box, but I, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't know either. But wait until you see the next project. I did something good with them. I should show you. And I'm kind of teasing you about it. I'll show you. I was waiting for Tony to go out and start watering. Because when he's in here, he makes he just makes noises. He doesn't know that he makes noises, but he makes lots of noises. So I tell him, how about if you go out in the water? He goes, you're going to do a video, huh? I'm like, yeah. He's getting to know, though. So today he did something, and I still don't know what to think about this. He came in, he's like, well, what are you working on? I'm like, you don't... You don't care. Why are you asking me that? He goes, of course I care. You working on anything orange? He always wants something orange. Oh, just a minute. Oh, look at that. 
Do you see the background? That's with the punches. Okay, so this is next. Kind of really loving it. It's kind of, at first it looks simple, but then you see all the different layers and these little background things and the little sparkles. These are, I think, lemon lime twist, and this is granny apple, and this is peacock. The colors probably don't belong together, but I love it. And you know how you just have to follow your heart sometime? Yeah. Maybe if she stays out there for a long time, I can, I could do that. It's like, no, it just, it just took a long time. Oh, anyhow, so he came in here and he was pretending like, <laughs> this sounds terrible, like he cares. And I know he doesn't. He does his thing. He goes outside. Sometimes I go out and I ask him about, what are you doing to that lawnmower? Or, ooh, I noticed you ordered a tune-up kit. And he tells me about how he replaced the blades and he should do it all at one time. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, so he was in here a few minutes ago. I still don't, I don't know why though. If I figure it out, I'll tell you. He's up to something. Look at all these layers. I think that's what makes it look so good, is when there's lots of layers that bring everything together. So Oma is turning 95. That's Tony's mom. So we're going for her birthday party. We're leaving in the morning. Eight hour drive. And I'm sure you do this too. But I packed mm, stuff to color. I was about to tell you how many, but I thought that's embarrassing. Because the card is all the way made. Everything is done except the coloring. So if you're hostage in a car with someone driving for you, yeah. If I, it's not that my paper cutter is doing that. The paper, especially black, sometimes it comes and it's kind of all vintagey at the bottom. Oh, let's do the fuel well. Okay, that could go like that. Maybe put a bow on it, but let's do, it's better with the flower and the circle. Let's do the circle. The circle, festive pearls. The circle is punches. Punches. Oh, this is the designer paper. I'm trying to make it perfectly cut because this is a two inch circle punch. This is six inch paper. If I'm like a little OCD, look at that, look at that. Perfect. Oh, but you know what? I should be making sure it's perfect down here too. That's pretty good. Because now I could get more out of here. You know, I could get nine out of here. But even if when you're punching yours, if you have a flat spot, that's okay, because the flower and the words cover up a lot. Don't throw it out. Okay, I just need one. Went a little crazy. And, oh, I did it. Did I do it right? Black paper, black scrap. So any size circles you have, any size dies you have, circles, any shape you have, it all works. So this is the designer paper. It kind of tells you what colors to do stuff. That next card, <coughs> um, yeah, that wasn't following the designer paper rules. If ever you don't know, look at this paper. Look how perfectly it matches. Look at all that stuff. It tells you what colors. And the back of the paper pack tells you what colors too. There's a few patterns I pulled out of here for upcoming projects. 
Inked Botanicals. Clips of Coral, Crushed Curry, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. Well, I'm using Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, Coral, Black. You don't have to exactly follow. Okay, so now all that it's missing is the flower. Well, the flower takes some work because there's no dyes. You have to hand cut it and do just a little bit of coloring here and here. Okay, watch this. Cut, 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 cut. Bang! I'm on fire today. I'm a fireball. Um, okay. So I'm using four colors for the flower. The darkest is coral dark. Just because the rest of the card is kind of simple. I could do something a little fancy. The next one, that went together so fast. But you know what? I'll pretend like I did it on purpose. And I'll tell you what the on purpose is. So on YouTube, down at the bottom, or I'm not sure where it shows up, um, I have a poll. And the poll is, you have three choices. What kind of cards do you like? Super simple, which is designer paper on a card base with words on it. So this isn't even because I did layers. Okay, consider it done. That was the first option. Next option is adding a little bit more layers to it. Kind of like what this is here. And then maybe this underneath it. Oh, that looks kind of good. So that would be the medium. And then the third option is the medium option but then you add more stuff on. You add so much stuff on that there really isn't room to add any more, which I admit I do sometimes. Like the, um, the last project, the Darling Details, there was one and it was like the accordion fold and it had sparkly glimmer paper on it. And I admit that that one had way too much on it, but I like it. Um, anyhow. The answer is the medium version. This is a medium version. The next one is, I think, medium. What was the first one? The first one was, oh, I should show you that, Pebble Path. It was a fun fold. It's right here. This one was the first one. This one I think is like medium to lots. Yep, Tony's outside watering. So his birthday party is going to be at Christine's house and I think Everyone is going to be there. I'm hoping Emma just appears. She's pretty good at doing that, but I talked with her today and she didn't mention it. Um, and Christine has a pool. It's in Sacramento. It's going to be hot. So it's going to be fun. I'm just very happy for Oma. She lives just fine on her own, doing well. Keep up a good conversation. She's very smart. Okay, I'm putting four colors on here. You're probably saying, I don't see that last color, but I know it's there. Okay, and then the green. I'm kind of liking it without the green, but oh, here's this one. I showed you that. Fun. Maybe I'll just do, let me see how it is with just the leaves rather than everything with the green. Because when I did the um, stems, it almost, to me, it looked a little sloppy. And I don't like sloppy. I 
think I like it like that. And light, this is Lost Lagoon. So we're in July. Starting today, going forward the rest of the month, if you order $50 for every increment of $50 you order, if you provide your email address, Stampin' Up! will send you an email. That's a $5 coupon to be used next month. I love it when they do this because I'm always ordering lots of stuff. Um, so, if there's anything you need to order, this is the time to do it. And if you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love and appreciate and be much happy. Use host code if it's under 150. If it's over 150, don't use the host code because then the um, hostess rewards, the free dollars won't pop up. And if you want this, I would love to send you five free card kits. So nothing will be stamped, but if you get the bundle from me, um, you already have the stamp set. I think it's okay without coloring the stems. Okay, so I'm going to be focusing on the words. Oh, how are the words going? How, hold on. How is this going to go? Because I think the words are going to cover up too much. Okay. Maybe change of plans. Well, that looks kind of good. What do you think? They can share off this going up and down. This one is going crossways. They can share their circle. Okay, up and down. Okay, I have to have a plan for this. Kind of like the the flower getting in the way of the words, but yeah, the flower could go underneath. How about if I dimensional it? Yeah, yeah, and then this could be okay. Okay. Could hear him watering the plants right outside the door here. The pots. I wonder if <laughs> getting all stuck here. Oops. Um, I wonder if he's checking. Can I come in yet? I probably shouldn't try to squeeze in that other one. I'm gonna drive him crazy. Okay, so this can go. Oh, I kind of like it hanging off the edge. Okay, and this can go here. Glue, glue, glue. Feel better soon. Oh, I like that. Sometimes I'm so artsy. Look at that. That turned out cute. Okay. Now, bling. I think bling and I think we're done. Bling is festive pearls. And I was picking up 
this kind of um, green-like color. One more odd numbers. There. That's it. Here is today's project. Aren't they cute? Feel better soon. Lots of love. Sometimes I open it up and it's like, oh my gosh, I hope I put the right words in there. Lots of love. That'll work. Happy birthday. Lots of love. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.